So here's a little homework. We're gonna talk about the use of a holster, super basic stuff, um, how to use the holster, how to draw from the holster, how to clear your gun before you put it back in the holster. We're gonna talk about all that stuff um, so you can get ready for the tactical games. Very first thing we're gonna talk about is the function of the holster. You can see I've got this, uh, this list of things that we're gonna go through in this video. We're gonna talk about function of the holster first. Um, you can see on these holsters that I use, this is a Safari Land holster. Uh, the ones that I use have a hood that go across the top, and that hood keeps the gun in the holster. So when you're running, doing whatever, it's not gonna bounce out of the holster there. Okay. There is a particular way that you will release the hood so you can draw the gun. On the inside where your thumb goes, what you're going to do is you're going to take your shooting hand and you're going to index around the grip of the gun. Okay, just like you're holding the gun basically. Get your primary grip with your strong hand. And you can see my thumb is kind of pushed out to one side. And it's actually on the on the lever of the button, whatever, for the hood itself. So when we go to draw, we will grip the gun just like we would hold the gun. Okay, except I got my thumb out to the side and it's right on the hood. I will press down on the hood and I will press forward on the hood. Okay, so I'm I'm putting force down on the gun uh, and the hood in order to open the hood up. So you've got your hand, you're indexing around the gun, getting your grip, push down on the hood, pull up in order to get the gun out. A couple things you'll notice about the Safari Land holster. You pull that way, away from your body, the gun does not come out, okay? You actually need to draw either straight up or a little bit towards your body. See how I angle it towards my body in order to draw, okay? Or you can just draw straight up in order to get the gun out. If you get tired and you try to pull out away from your body that way, the gun will not come out of the holster. So you need to remember that. For the actual draw stroke, I'm gonna be pointing this way so that you can see it a little bit easier. Uh, what we're going to do is you see your target, you will reach down and grab onto the gun just like you're going to draw. And you can see here that my shooting finger is indexed the way that it would be on the gun. So when it comes out of the holster, I am already indexed on the side of the gun. It is not resting on the trigger or anything like that. I have it straight and off to the side, kind of near the slide area of the pistol. As far as the draw stroke goes, what I am concentrating on is getting the gun out. So that's a straight up pull. You see my elbow is going pretty high and my shoulder is pretty high as well. Once I have the gun clear of the holster, I will then move it to about the center of my chest right here where I can take my left hand, my support hand, it's waiting to get that solid grip on the pistol. And I'm doing all that right about here. I'm not doing it out any further than, than right about where my chest is, okay? So you can kind of imagine the draw being like a little bit of an L, right? You will start straight up, you will come out, and then you will push forward, okay? So it's like making an L shape, basically. Up, and then forward. We talked a little bit about hands. Super important that you have a solid grip on the gun before you start the draw stroke. If you're off a little bit and you have to correct later, it's not gonna be great for you. So when you go for the draw, you're making sure that you're grabbing uh, the grip and getting a really solid grip with your strong hand. Uh, with your thumb, you're going to press the hood and push it forward, draw straight up, bring it out to your chest, and then you can correct your support hand, make sure that that is in place before you punch out all the way. And when you do punch out, you should be able to see both sights of the gun, right? Both the front and the rear sight for that. Okay, so at speed, it's gonna look something like this. Okay, so we will bring the gun up to our chest and punch it out straight. So you've done all your shooting, normally you would start with a magazine in the gun. Um, if you don't have a magazine in the gun when you do the draw, you're coming right here to your chest anyway, which is a great opportunity for you to put a magazine in. Uh, but usually you'd start with a magazine in the gun already. Um, if you're at, uh, say, a, a tactical games event or something and um, you need to do some work before that, you would not start with a magazine in the gun. Um, the gun would be empty. So what we would do is we would start, uh, we would do all our work, get to the firing line, 
do your draw, and then you can bring the gun up to your face and put a magazine in then, and, you know, do, do your thing and then punch out like you would um, just during a regular draw stroke, okay? Minor little sidebar, uh, teeny little thing that we should talk about. Um, the way that I have my pistol magazines arranged, they are close to my support hand, my left hand over here. And you can see that the way that I've got them set up is so that the bullets are, are going towards the center of my body or pointed towards the pistol. So every magazine is oriented in the same way. You can see they're, they're all kind of pointing that direction with the bullets forward. That's only for pistol. For rifle, they're pointing the other way, and we talk about rifle stuff, we'll, we'll talk about the reason for that. But for pistol, um, they're set up so that they're going that way towards the pistol. And uh, one of the other reasons for that is so that I can index on the pistol uh, magazine when I go to do the draw. So you can see I got my pointer finger, we talked about indexing a little bit. Um, when I go to do the draw, I can use my support hand an index so that my finger is straight on the magazine, just like this. And that will help me when I put it into the magazine well. Okay, so we've got gun out. Here, here real quick. We've got gun out, okay? Bring it up to your face so you can see the magazine well. And then you're indexing on the magazine, putting it into the gun. Give it a little palm strike first, right? So let's do this guy at speed here. We do something like this. And of course, if there was a bullet in there, it would rack by itself. All right, so we're done shooting. We've got a magazine in there, and if we're done, we're probably at slide lock. Um, if we're not, though, this is, the process is going to be exactly the same. Uh, what we'll do is we're going to go bang, bang, bang. We've got all of our shots in place, okay? And what we'll do now is uh, we will drop the magazine. So. Of course, you know the mag release button on your thumb portion of your strong hand, right? Push that in with your thumb, magazine comes out. Um, in the tactical games, you are likely to have to retain your magazines, okay? So what we're going to do, instead of just dropping the magazine on the ground like we would at like a regular match, what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna take the magazine out with our support hand and stow it on your body, put it back in the pouch, put it in a pocket or something like that, okay? Um, so that is the mag out process. Whenever you are done shooting, whether it's pistol or rifle, take that magazine out and you can uh, check the chamber. If you still have rounds in there, the process for that would be to take the magazine out first, stow it, lock the slide back, check in the chamber, make sure there's nothing in there, a bullet might fall to the side, whatever. Um, and then you would press the slide release and you can go ahead and reholster. When you reholster, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take our pointer finger again. It's always straight and off the trigger unless we're shooting. And just the same way that we are going to um, bring it uh, out, we're going to put it back in. Okay, so you can bring it back to your chest. And then this is super critical. Look at the holster before you put it in the gun. So look at it uh, before you put the gun in. Look at the holster, and then bring the gun down to the holster and close the hood. Okay, it's just, uh, you don't have to do anything for the hood. You just, just kind of slap it closed and it'll lock itself. Megan is probably thinking, why would we look the gun back into the holster? Because she's a cop, right? Cops do not look their gun back into the holster, all right? They have their holster open, they have their gun out, and they're doing this. Actually, I'm not very good at it. I have to look. And they are doing that. They're not looking at the holster. The reason that they don't do that is because usually if they're going to holster, they've got their eyes on a suspect or somebody, and they don't want to take their eyes off that person. So they reholster without looking. I reholster looking at the holster because I got all sorts of shit like thrown around here. You could have shirts, slings, whatever. You don't want something in the holster that could catch on the trigger guard. And then, you know, if you have a round in there, you catch, you know, a sling or something on the trigger and, you know, you shoot send a round into your leg or something like that. I always look before I put the gun back into the holster. So there's two things uh, that we kind of talked about but need to talk about a little bit more. That is the safe and clear procedure. There are two ways of doing this at a regular two-gun competition, like the one that we're gonna go to in January. Um, 
that one has a slightly different process than they do at the tactical games, and, and there are reasons for it. Um, the tactical games does some things a little bit differently than a regular two gun, uh, so they just have a different process that we need to know. At a two gun match, what we do is when we are done with our shooting, let's put one in here. When we are done with our shooting, put the gun on the safe, okay? And you can just do that with your thumb if you have a thumb safety. Put the gun on the safe, bring the magazine out, bring the slide back until there is no bullet left in the chamber. Um, there's usually a range officer or a safety officer who is behind you and making sure that you're clear. They will look into the chamber with you, make sure that you're clear. Then what you'll do is they'll say slide down, hammer down, holster. That's the process. Slide down, hammer down, holster. And what we do for that is we drop the slide on an empty chamber, we point it at the berm, and we would pull the trigger to make sure that the hammer is down. Okay. And then once that's done, we can throw it back on safe, look the gun into the holster, close her up. The Tactical Games does the safe and clear process a little bit differently. The reason for that is because you're working, you're still under time usually, and you've got like four or five other people on the firing line with you, so it's not super safe to have an RO like hanging over your shoulder and gun out and all that stuff. So the process for them is when you are done with your shooting, bang, 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 you come to slide lock, or, or maybe you still have rounds in there, I don't know. Usually you come to slide lock at the Tactical Games. Um, you come to slide lock, and what you do is you drop your mag. If you have to retain, retain it. Check in there. You can drop the slide, drop the hammer into, uh, by pulling the trigger, drop it into the berm, right? So point it at the berm, drop the trigger. Then you would reholster, close up your holster. And at this point, this is super important, you put your hands up like this and yell clear, okay? So it looks like this. Bang, bang, bang. Clear. And then at that time you can turn around and do, you know, pick up your sandbag or run 10 miles or you do whatever you want, you know what I mean? Um, but you have to do that hands up clear process. It's super important. Um, they'll, they'll yell at you if you don't, so. And then the super duper last thing that I think I might have talked about, but maybe I didn't, is on the reholster process. What we'll do is when you bring the gun back in, you don't have a magazine in there or anything like that. You've still got your finger straightened off the trigger. Drop the slide, hammer down into the burn, okay? Keep your finger on that slide or on the frame of the gun straight. It's always straighten off the trigger. And when you look it in to the holster, you can do the same thing. I just kind of lift my finger up and away, slide it down into the holster so that, you know, my finger is always off the gun and then I can close the hood, do my clear thing, and, and get on out of there. So we're gonna do the whole thing one time through. I'll show you the entire process uh, and then let you get to it. So um, I have a magazine in the gun right now. Of course, it's unloaded and everything, but we'll do the draw. Um, we'll bang a couple times. I'll bring it back to slide lock, show you the magazine manipulation and the reholster. Here we go. Bang, bang, bang. Comes the slide lock. Bang, 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 right? Drop the magazine out, retain it, check, close it, bang, into the berm, clear. And then we turn around and do our work. So that's homework number one, uh, learning how to do the draw stroke, learning how to uh, maybe work some magazine changes, learning how to put the gun back into the holster, learning the holster manipulation and how it'll get stuck and how it won't get stuck. And then also finally, you know, you do the, the holster, um, you know, you, you reholster the gun, you do your clear process.